Welcome to Aero News Channel. Like and subscribe to update news around the world. President Donald Trump's first appointee to the Supreme Court of the United States, Justice Neil Gorsuch, has liberals shaking in their boots as he gets ready to drop an earth-shaking decision in one of the biggest landmark cases in 40 years. You don't want to miss this. According to Daily Caller, American patriots will soon very likely to have reason to celebrate as Justice Neil Gorsuch holds what many consider to be the deciding vote in one of the landmark cases of the U.S. Supreme Court's term. The case being heard by the Supreme Court on Monday, February 26, 2018, is a challenge to the constitutionality of mandatory union fees. It's estimated that there are over 5 million government employees who are forced by law to pay dues to public sector unions. In the past, the Supreme Court has been evenly dividing over the constitutionality of forced dues. Now that Gorsuch is on the scene, it's a whole new ballgame and liberals are terrified of the likelihood that he will vote to end mandatory union fees. Gorsuch, who holds the fifth and likely deciding vote, could end mandatory union fees which would devastate numerous public unions across the country and all but dry up the main source of their political power. I can just see the snowflakes melting over this now. Liberal tears will run like raging rivers if the corrupt ruling for mandatory union fees is overturned. The unconstitutional ruling, which has lasted just over 40 years, was made in a case called Arbud v. Detroit Board of Education. In that 1977 ruling, the Supreme Court decided that labor bosses are allowed to collect union dues from public employees since union negotiators represent all government workers. Even if the government employees are not union members, their money is still taken automatically for the purposes of collective bargaining. The 1977 ruling also prohibits the union from using the fees collected from government employees for political purposes like electioneering. Obviously, unions couldn't care less about that part of the law as many of them spend obscene amounts of money to buy political influence. This is why critics of the Abu ruling think that the Supreme Court needs to overturn it and risk toward the constitutional rights of government employees. Notably, a significant number of government employees do not agree with the political activities of the unions who are taking their money every month. Those fees typically generate tens of millions of dollars for the unions every year and losing that cash cow will starve them and the liberal politicians they own. In recent years, several justices spoke out about concerns over mandatory union dues and two separate labor cases argued between 2012 and 2014. The court seemed as if it was on the edge of overturning a boot in January 2016, when it heard a direct First Amendment challenge to the mandatory union dues practice. Sadly, Justice Antonin Scalia passed away just one month after the arguments in that case, which was called Friedrichs v. CTA. With Scalia gone, the remaining eight justices deadlocked on the matter and a binding ruling was never issued, according to Fox News. After Justice Gorsuch was confirmed, the Supreme Court agreed to revisit the issue for the purpose of reaching a definitive decision. The new case, which was heard on Monday, February 26, 2018, is called Janus v. American Federation of State County and Municipal Employees, OPS. This case sprang out of Illinois when plaintiff Mark Janus, who was a child support specialist, filed a suit claiming that the mandatory fees collected from him violate his First Amendment rights.